Here we go. Right, Tarts. Tarts Gallery is here. Representing Tarts Gallery tonight is myself, Heather Dunn, and Nick Mason. We're part of the Tablelands Artists Cooperative Gallery, Tarts for short, and it's a not-for-profit cooperative. It was opened in 2013 and the newest gallery in Bathurst. We're open six days, 10 to 5, Monday to Friday, and we're also at 148 Russell Street, which is opposite the Nick Botner uh, Hotel's bottle shop and next to Clements and McCarthy Stock and Station Agents. We're also on Facebook and very soon we'll have our own website. When you, oh, it just seems so long. <laughs> <laughs> right. When you walk inside, we, um, we're endeavouring to constantly change our display. We have two gallery rooms. We've got an area outside underneath the carport and we have um, specialised uh, hanging space as well as things. So we plan to have regular exhibitions with other regional artists as well. And inside our gallery we've got um, our nine members who have our artworks there and nine, five of those members are directors. We all pay a fee to join and uh, um, an annual fee and we all go on a roster to sit in the gallery. And uh, while we're there, some of us actually create art. And this is a bit of a um, that I share with the gallery. We've got with the nine members our um, Louise Ranshaw. We hand up Louise is our director treasurer, and she's a bit of a local fixture on the Bathurst art scene. These are some of her wonderful works here. She's quite a prolific potter. Uh, she's very prominent on Bathurst Arts Trail and um, has a great retail background, which is fantastic for setting up a cooperative. Um, and this here is a slide of one of our other members, who is Marilyn Rice, and she's also a bit of a fixture on the back of Star scene, a very established artist. And uh, she runs classes and also has life drawing group at her home. She works in lots of different mediums, has <coughs> had exhibits in Australia and overseas, and had um, lots of awards. And here we come to me, which is, this is Claire. Claire Newland, and she's a graphic designer and has worked for magazines such as Vogue, which is how can you say? Currently manages a graphic design business called Central Design Studio and the Bathurst Accommodation Warehouse. Her artwork ranges from ceramic to mixed media and digital manipulation. This is Nancy Morgan. Everyone loves Nancy. She's a grandmother and a great grandmother of many. At the age of 75, she threw herself into art. She works predominantly as a painter and is prolific. She's won prizes at the Evans Arts Council and also the All Saints Show of 2013. Then we have Nick. Nick's an emerging artist. She's also the director and uh, secretary for us, thank God. Um, and she only started painting in the last few years in Texas, no Mars and Royals. Her artwork is heavily influenced by her work in land management and having a young family. She's received multiple awards in this very short space of time. And here is the work of the lovely Heather. She's um, one of our newest members to the cooperative. And, um, and she's also on the back of Starts Trail. She's participated in lots of different um, exhibitions and she had her first solo show at Dean Mott's Gallery just last year. We're really happy to have her on board. She does a lot of work with tapestries and woven work. And here's a picture, um, a picture of one of Katrina Daly's work. She's one of our directors as well. She lives up at Napoleon Reef and has up there the Shipton Gallery um, on the back of Starts Trail. And she's been in the arts industry her whole life, been there, going to art school and, um, and having her own salon one in the 70s. And on to Greg Cross, He's, uh, he works on dark paper and does um, pastel work and he's uh, also on the arts trail out of Broccoli. And we have a lot of artists who are out of town so it's fantastic to have this um, in, in town. He's, work, he's won lots of awards too locally which is really fantastic. This is Amanda Bergwistle. She's one of the newbies, like me. And uh, she's half of Button Top Designs with her twin sister, Justina. She brings an IT expertise to our little co-op. And she has handmade accessories, which range from Button Top rings, hair accessories, and couplings. And displays beautifully. So, we enjoy getting out and about. And we love promoting the gallery and its artists. We've been to the Artists and Markets, so it was great fun. Both the city centre where Nick bravely demonstrated all painting, I couldn't do it. And we handed out promotional cards and chatted to the shoppers. Other spots have been um, Renzaglia Wines um, and exhibiting at the idea of Northern Oak Hall. So the gallery is also an opportunity for the region's artists to exhibit and we invite inquiries to hold exhibitions at the gallery. Our terms are very reasonable. 
We've had three exhibitions so far, all successful, and our grand opening attracted 120 guests and was opened by the mayor, Mary Rush. And this is a photo of some artwork by Craig um, Hyde and Tom Buckland, and they were our first two um, regional artists that came in and had an exhibition at Tableland's Arts Property Gallery. Um, Tom Buckland, who does this fantastic work, is in his arts here at Arts School, so it was great to be able to support an emerging artist as well as um, a really established artist. This is our second exhibition that we just ran recently and we had two other regional artists come in, a photographer who um, had some works on the wall, that was Zenio Latka and he does photography for the local paper. And we had a potter, Emily Bazook, come in and she does beautiful last work and it, was, it, it went really well. Um, and this is a, a photo out of the that exhibition. We have, um, We've got another exhibition coming up where we're inviting people from all over the region to exhibit in a 60 by 60 space, and that will be held in 27th of June, 20th of July, sorry, where we'll do it during the day and have um, soup and rolls and everything. So we're open for business, and we're open to new ideas and ventures. And although our membership is full, we have guest artist exhibitions four to five times a year, and we encourage people to come along and make some inquiries. We would also consider opportunities for other events, artists to give talks, perhaps musicians at events to give them a new audience. And so, in summary, thanks for the opportunity to yes. come along here and to speak to you all tonight. Um, so basically we're here to support our member artists in the gallery, but also to support um, artists across the region through holding exhibitions. And uh, we just want to offer another cultural hotspot for Bathurst and the, and the Central West. Um, if anyone's interested, come and see us. Come and see us. We're going to see you.